As a teacher in Osceola County, you will probably experience a number of instances in which you need to reset a student's password. To help with this, let's walk through how to use the Osceola County Password Reset Tool. To start, let's talk a little bit about Osceola County student password requirements. All student passwords, regardless of grade level, allow 50 attempts before locking a student out. This is great, especially for those students who have trouble typing accurately. And if a student is locked out, their lockout time is now only 5 minutes, and then it will give them another 50 attempts. Additionally, students are only required to change their password every 120 days. This means that once they're set up at the beginning of the year with a new password, they should really only have to change that password once during that school year. And when they do change their passwords, students cannot reuse any of their last five used passwords. Now while these requirements apply to all students, there are grade level bands with different requirements. K-3 through students and students with special needs, their passwords only have a four character requirement. This means their passwords can be any four characters they want. And students in 4th through 12th grade have an 8 character requirement on their passwords. Now something to take note of. There is no special character requirement for our students in Osceola County. This means whether you're K through 3 with 4 characters or 4th through 12th with 8 characters, those characters can be any combination the student wishes. Now let's take a look at how to use the actual reset tool. On your desktop, you're going to look for an icon just like this. Looks like a set of keys. Let's head over to our desktop and check it out. All right, here I am on my own desktop. So I'm going to come up here and find the icon that's labeled password reset that does look like a pair of keys. When I double click this, it's going to open a small window. So let's type in a student ID number and then press the binoculars. Now, the system will find the student and you can verify the first, last name, the grade level, the school, etc. to make sure you have the correct student. Now to reset their password, all we do is we type a new password into the slot where it says password. I make sure that the force password change at logon is checked and then I simply click change password. The next time the student logs on, once they put in this password that you've given them, they will be given the chance to change the password to anything they wish. Now this password reset tool does have one limitation. When resetting a student's password, the tool requires at least an eight character password to be entered when making the change. This conflicts with the four character password requirement for K-3 through students. So this is how you handle it. First, enter the eight character required generic password into the password tool for the student in question. Then, once you've changed their password, have them log on to another computer using the eight character generic password and they will be prompted to reset their password again. At that time, they can enter any four character password they wish. We hope you found this information useful and that it helps you be successful in using technology with your students.